go through the advantages and disadvantages of, of using a ball thrower. Obviously, when you compare it to using a bowling machine, it's a little bit more realistic. You obviously, you get the feeling of a bowler running in and feeding the ball. It's not quite as realistic as a bowler. So you still got, you know, when you're trying to transfer your skills from a, pra a practice where everything's the same each time, you get a little bit more variability, but it's not quite as realistic as facing a bowler. I guess the only other advantage with these is um, I, can, I can challenge a batter who, who might be a very, very capable player by using more pace, uh, using a ball that's going to swing, things that maybe I wouldn't be able to get out of a bowling machine, obviously varying my length and changing where I feed the ball from as well. You can never replicate a bowler. You're not, never going to do that in practice unless someone is bowling. Um, even when you're throwing, you can't replicate that. The biggest advantage really is over the bowling machine. Bowling machines, for those who use them a lot, tend to be the default go-to for practice. That's great, but you need to understand why you're using them. Bowling machines tend to be straight at you. You don't get the cues. I think where the ball throwers really have come in handy in the last few years is as a batter, you get the natural cues in your setup when you're facing as if you were facing a bowler. As well as if you're adjusting length, as Ben said, it's easier to adjust length naturally with these. A bowling machine, we all know, is having batted against them, if you have done, you have to adjust them manually. And as a batter, you get the cues then, so you roughly know when there's a change of line or length. So that's where they're a huge advantage. <laughs>